Back on the morning brew for Friday. All right. <laughs> it is, uh, it's good to have you here. I'm Larry Aarons along with my co-host Aaron Buffaletto. A great pleasure to introduce our, our special guest here at the big round table on the morning brew. Tim Nisley, Chief Operating Officer, Rio Grande Community Development Corporation. Great to meet you, well, Tim. It's a pleasure to meet here, you Larry. here. Good Thank to have you. Thank you for having me. Um, we're going to talk about a couple of things. First off, Aaron is... Yeah, you know, I've known Tim for a while, and every time I've talked to Tim, it's always been about TEDx. But you have another passion you work with, and that's the South Valley Economic Development uh, Center, and that's the Mixing Bowl. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Because I don't know much about that myself. <laughs> the Mixing Bowl, that's interesting. The Mixing Bowl, yeah, it's a community kitchen in the South Valley. Actually, one of the nation's largest uh, community kitchens where people come in and, you know, everyone has a recipe that's been running in their family for 50 years. And everyone's always like, you should take that to market and learn how to sell that. And uh, the Mixing Bowl is a place where people do just that. Oh, wow. you can wear the hats. Look yeah, at that. They got the little, <laughs> you know, the little hats in the whole nine yards. That's actually a cooking class where they're teaching uh, young people how to, to cook. Fantastic. In partnership with CNM, yeah. So you offer classes as well as people can actually take their ideas. For the most part, we're all about creating businesses. We're all about taking someone's passion and making it into a reality. And the cool thing about it is that there's, there's so many users. We have 60 plus people that use the kitchen that they help each other out. So if you are, for example, starting up a, a jam company, and um, there's probably four other companies that have done something very similar hmm. that can help you get your label design, get through the regulatory process, which is really a lot of work. Yeah. Um, and it makes it a lot easier for everybody. Uh, yeah, the, getting in the food biz is not, you just it's don't not easy. sit down one day and say, I think I'll start a salsa company. It takes a lot of work. It, it That's does. a true story. Absolutely. It does. And you help them with the marketing process as well? We help them get their product on the shelves. We have uh, some great supporters in the retail sector. We have a lot of friends in restaurants around town that support local businesses. And we're really excited about giving people a chance to get their products quickly into, into restaurants and do it in a way that's, uh, that makes good business sense. Where is this located? It's on the South Valley, just a couple blocks south of uh, Cesar Chavez on Isleta. And oh. actually, we're excited this year, too, because we've got community kitchens all around the state that are unused that hopefully this year will be starting up so entrepreneurs from anywhere in New Mexico can go to a local community kitchen and then get their products into stores in Albuquerque. Hmm. And this is just one of the many things that you do at that facility there. It's a busy place over there. It's, <laughs> it it is. is, absolutely. We do stuff in community health. Um, the Parent Corporation, the Rio Grande Cor Community Development Corporation, is almost like a nonprofit holding company that does efforts in community health and education and in land use and development, and then, of course, economic development stuff as well. Yeah, so how do you uh, how do you get connected with the, the mixing bowl? Let's say you have an idea for a food related company or small business. Mixingbowlnm.com is the best way to do it or Google Community Kitchen New Mexico and it'll pop right up. And to transition a little bit. So when I think TEDx, I think of this guy. So can you tell us a little bit what about what's coming up in TEDx, what people can expect? Well, TEDxABQ is a, it's a TED.com based concept. So mm -hmm. the idea is it started in 86 as a, as a way to get the world's smartest people together in a room and just have a great dinner party, essentially, a five day uh -huh. long dinner party. So it's evolved over the years, obviously. And with TEDxABQ, what we've done is we really scour New Mexico to find people who have had some kind of extraordinary idea and then they did it. They like worked the nights and they worked the weekends and they just made this thing into a reality. So TEDxABQ highlights those people in one-day events. Um, we've done a TEDxABQ education mm -hmm. in January. Uh, we did a TEDxABQ women all about highlighting women's voices in New Mexico in December. And uh, we've got a big TEDxABQ event coming up in, on September 7th this year at Pope Joy, where we're going to highlight uh, about 18 speakers from farmers, doctors, to poets and lawyers. Well, and that's your biggest event of the year, is that That's right? our big event of the year, absolutely. Yeah. We're really excited for it. And actually, it's a call for speakers right now where we have an open applications process where people who have done something remarkable can just put in what about what is their big idea. And then we have community members go through, review them, and select some really cool things they'd like to hear about. Hmm. Uh, you know, I've lived in New Mexico a real long time. One of the most impressive things about this state is all the hidden talent that we have yeah. all over the state. And, you know, frankly, that's what we're going to try and bring out in this show is showcase people who are doing the very things that you want to highlight in TED. 
we're going to find those talented folks and people that are doing interesting things uh, to, to put them on this program and, and uh, they can certainly be a part of what you're doing too. That sounds like a really good partnership, Larry. I think yeah. we got something. I think we got something here. <laughs> We're onto something you, here. You hit it right there. I love the TED concept, and I've gone online to hear many TED talks over the years. And if you've never done that before, that's really a growing learning experience. There's some amazing things that are online with the TED thing, and I'd like to see New Mexico rank right up there with the best TED stuff online. We've got one of the biggest TEDx events in the country, actually, here in New Mexico, and we're really proud of it. Uh, it's a top quality event. But the thing about the TEDx ABQ event is you may think you go for the speakers, and the speakers are great, mm -hmm. but you can't have a boring conversation at TEDx ABQ no. because everybody is I there for the it. same reason. And you can verify this. Yeah, I, I was at the one in January, the TEDx education, and I met so many people. I ran into old friends, and the whole thing is it's so motivating as well. You. You always go in like, okay, well, let's see what I'll learn today. And you walk out with this sense of, wow, you know, I'm inspired. I'm going to go do this and this. And <laughs> it's really fun. And I, I'm excited about the big event. So. I think she could speak there. Absolutely. I think uh, I think Aaron could pull that off. I have no doubt we'll see her on stage. <laughs> it's going to happen. I think, uh, you know, Aaron is one of our good young leaders here in, in New Mexico. and I have a lot to talk about. <laughs> yeah, you do. That's why you're here. So, um, what do you see for the future of this program? I mean, it, it's an exciting thing day to day and looking forward to this, but I... I, I see unlimited possibilities for this. Uh, do you feel the same way? I do. I do. I'm really excited about it because it's it's turned into not only this event where people go and, and hear great ideas, but it's turned into this event where um, ideas kind of start moving and gain momentum. Mm -hmm. So what we're really looking forward to in the future is hopefully in even September we'll have we'll have four to six of these ideas that are immediately actionable, whether they're social causes or policy changes but something that someone has that could actually happen. And then we hope that we can infuse these ideas with 60 to 100 volunteers to actually then move the idea into reality. Mm. So we want to become a movement that spins off movements. I think you're heading in that direction. I'm pretty excited about it. I think the possibilities are there. The people are there and the energy at a TEDx yeah. event, people want to do things remarkable and they want to step out and they want to give something big back to the community. And the people that do want to be speakers, how do they get involved? If you jump on TEDxABQ.com, uh, there's an application process there. Uh, it's just three simple questions. What's your big idea? Why would you make a great speaker? And uh, give us some references. And that's pretty much it. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, give us an idea about, the, uh, and Aaron touched on it, the networking that goes on at the TED event. Um, how, do, how do you best take advantage of that? What, what do you see people doing there? You know, it's, it's been described as a day where you kind of set aside all your cynicism and you just come to learn. And in that kind of environment, conversations just flow. Um, actually, our biggest complaint the first year we did it was that our breaks, which were an hour long, were too short because people <laughs> were in these conversations and they didn't want to get out of them. And so we've really taken that to heart and we devise a full day experience where there's interactive events that you can... You can uh, we had Playworks there last year, for example, yeah. and they do they facilitate playing yeah. at recess, and yeah. you would get involved with these small groups and play things together, or you'd make things with QLab, or yeah. or you'd uh, um, grow things with the Agricultural Twitter Network in the South Valley. But you'd facilitate these little small group conversations, and those conversations were really consistently what people said were, were the best parts about the day. I, I love what you just said. Uh, Drop your cynicism for a moment. Do you know how many people told us that, ah, uh, you know, we don't need another morning TV talk show. We, that won't work. Uh, you can't host that. Uh, you can't do that. Uh, there's too much of that talk going on in New Mexico. People telling you what you can't do. And here's a group of people telling you what is possible. And I commend you for that. That is the core of TED, people that just won't take no, yeah. who, who believe in something right. and then do it. Those are the people we highlight, and I think that's what you walk away with at the end of the day, believing that, that these are people that did something extraordinary, but they put their pants on the same way we do, 
and uh, we can do it too. That's what I love. It's very inspiring. People are always like, you know, they said it couldn't be done, but I did it. And, <laughs> you know. uh, I want to just recap it here in less than a minute we have, uh, Tim. First of all, back to the mixing bowl concept, community kitchen, great idea. If you have an idea for a small business relating to food, this is a place where you can maybe make that dream come true. Where's the info on that? Mixingbowlnm.org. Okay. That is a cool concept. It it's really is. really taken off, and I think it's got a, it can really change New Mexico as well. And yeah. TEDx Albuquerque, info on that again, please. TEDxABQ.com, Facebook.com, slash TEDxABQ. Find us out and join the community. Awesome. I like them. Yeah, <laughs> and like them while you're there, too. <laughs> okay, hey, really great to meet you, Tim. It was thanks a pleasure. For, thanks Thank for coming you. on, and we're going to have you back, okay? Sounds good. I'd love to be back. Very good. Thanks, Larry. All right, Tim, nicely uh, with TEDx and... We have more to come on The Morning Brew in just a moment. More guests right after this.